Welcome to this Around the IT Block Chalk Talk. I'm your host and chalkboard writer, the IT Oddfather, Calvin Zito. In this Chalk Talk, I'm going to introduce you to the HPE Parliant Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. The Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2 adds new features to the original Microserver Gen 10. I want to start the Chalk Talk by showing you the highlights of what's new. There are new Intel and Pentium G processors. ILO 5, Silicon Root of Trust, and optional ILO 5 remote management. There's HPE InfoSight for servers. 4x1 gigabit Ethernet NICs on board. And up to 3200 megatransfers per second with HPE DDR standard memory and more. Let's look at what sets the HPE ProLiant Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2 apart. The compact ProLiant server to make your own. It's a unique form factor that's compact and ideal for small spaces. It's fast to set up and easy to use. It's powerful yet affordable server for your daily business workloads. And with ILO, Silicon Root of Trust, and server management for security, reliability, and usability for your server. Let's look at the top use cases for the Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. First is on-premises IT. A multifunction server for small to medium office environments with file sharing, local backup, and restore, and email, and small business applications. Next, remote office, branch office, network gateway. You get enhanced connectivity and compute for greater performance for applications like retail point of sales, analytics for stores, and inventory management systems. And a network gateway with software-defined networking for robos to reduce network device capex. And remote management. Authorized IT personnel can provide remote maintenance support for remote and offices with VM servers, IT solutions for service providers, working with SMB customers, and remote backup and recovery. Pictures are worth a thousand words, so let's take a look at some pictures of the HPE ProLiant Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2, starting with the front view. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports. Their drive activity, NIC status, and health LEDs, as well as a power on and standby button. When I remove the front cover, you can see the two USB ports and four slots for either large form factor hard drives or small form factor SSDs. Now let's look at the rear view. I'll zoom in and tell you what you're looking at, starting with number one. Padlock and next to it, a Kensington security slot. Three USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports and one USB 2 Type A port. On the bottom right are a display port and VGA port. Next, moving to the left, there are four NIC ports. Eight and nine are a power clip hole to secure the power adapter and the power jack. Number 10 is a PCIe Gen 4 low profile slot. And number 11 is the optional ILO enablement kit slot with the dedicated ILO NIC port. Now let's look inside the Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. Again, I'll zoom in and start with number one and work my way around. Number one is the riser board connector. Number two is the ILO 5 chip on board. Over on the right side, number three is the processor and heatsink. Number four are two DDR4 UDIM slots. Number five is an internal USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port. Number seven is the system fan. And then when I pull back out, you can see the riser board with the ILO enablement kit slot. And finally, the expansion low profile slot for PCIe 4 times 16. I want to quickly point out that there are three build to order SKUs for the microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. Entry, Performance 1, and Performance 2. Note that the latter two are only available as pre-configured models in certain regions. Check the quick specs for more details. You can add to these, but those additional options won't be factory integrated and will ship separately. Finally, let's look at the OS and virtualization support as of November 2022. It supports Microsoft Windows Server 2019 as well as Server 2022. And you can see the Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, and SUSE Linux enterprise server versions that are supported. And there's support for VMware vSphere 7.0 U3. It's worth noting that VMware just started shipping vSphere 8.0, so you should check the URL listed to see if there are updates to what is supported. And there's collaborative software support that's included with the optional tech care services. I'm excited to show you the new HPE ProLiant Microserver Gen 10 Plus V2. To learn more, go to hpe.com slash servers slash microserver dash gen 10 dash plus dash v2. You can find our blogs at community.hpe.com. And I love hearing from you on Twitter where you can find me as Calvin Zito. Until next time, thanks for joining me on this Around the IT Block Chalk Talk.